Hello YouTube, here I am presenting to you my uh, new switching power supply for audio purposes and uh, this happened to be a power supply which can be adopted in a lot of ways um, because on the main printed circuit board we have the basic arrangement of the essential components but as far as the oscillator is uh, the oscillator board uh, it is uh, fixed on a pin header i have two of these with different they both use the ir2153 and uh, this one works with a color with a current limiter okay which limits the current okay during overload by switching off the ic and as the overload is removed the the power supply resumes to its normal load on this side i have a different arrangement on a different pin header and this uh, this one has a soft start built in by uh, firstly uh, putting the the switching power supply at, a, at three times the operating frequency more or less and uh, after that uh, it resumes to the operating frequency and by that because the transformer has high frequency in the beginning it will be inefficient and current is limited through it so if you want to start up the switching power supply on load it, it will withstand it quite easily all right um the pin header will fit over here like this and it fits snugly now we take a general view of the switching power supply we got the mains input here we got the fuse and the input filter okay and after here behind here we have the bridge rectifier and we also have a triac here and in front of it we also have a thermistor which limits the inrush current in the beginning when charging the bulk capacitor here so uh, what happens actually at startup um, the the power supply will be energized and current can pass through the thermistor here and it limits the current but as soon as this the uh, the transformer starts oscillating this two turn coupling loop that i got here will generate enough voltage a small voltage here which uh, biases the triac okay biases the gate of this triac and it will short out this resistor so we don't lose any efficiency um, here is an ETD transformer ETD39 transformer okay these are the output capacitors here I have also a couple of output inductors and uh, these sockets happen to be these sockets happen to be one for uh, for the uh, the, the du dual output of 12012 volts and this socket will power the fan motor these are controlled by these uh, two regulator chips I've got a 7812 and the 7912 here and uh, what else well this is the output diode here I've got three of them three double diodes in a <coughs> full full wave uh, rectifier arrangement and these are the switching transistors i am using a couple of uh, irf 740s okay we also have a current transformer here which controls and senses the input current through the switching transistors a general view from underneath of uh, the uh, power supply here okay and uh, we will uh, check out the operation of this power supply in the next clip.
Okay, and here I'm going to switch the SMPS uh, with a short circuit on the output. And here it goes. You just watch the fan there kicking a little bit and everything stops. Okay, so this that's the short circuit protection tried out. I switched off again and nothing happened. I remove uh, the short circuit now from here and uh, we'll start up again the power supply. The voltage back. Just adding up a more load here and a little bit more. The other heater as well in parallel. We are at 7, 6.8, whatever. A little bit more. We're getting 7 ohms now. Okay, I okay. get the temperature and see the temperature of the heating. Okay, um, I'm going to show up the startup at high frequency and the SMPS returning to the operating frequency. Okay, that's it. And our frequency around 65 kilohertz. Switched off again. Okay, that is a no load waveform. I'm going to add load gradually. And as one can see, I'm having 3 amps at the moment. I'm going to load more. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to add load here now. As I start up the SMPS, that's the soft start, returning to the operating frequency. I will add load gradually. Going the waveform there. Adding more load. We're running at 5 amps at the moment. And we are at 7.4 amps right now. And the waveform is still beautiful. The sample is taken here across the primary of the transformer on the power supply. This is our output voltage. That is the input voltage, uh, sorry, the input input wattage, all right, from the mains. That is our current here, about 7.4 amperes. And these are the loads, these are the heat heaters connected here, and the halogen bulbs, we have all of them. Okay, I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. Right, um, I'm going to monitor the temperature of the heatsink near the switching transistors, which is a very modest temperature there, and uh, we are running at 7 amps. Okay, with uh, nearly 79, 80 volts. Okay, we get the temperature of the trafo. Okay, it's running at 30, 40 degrees, whatever. And the temperature on the heatsink near the output diodes is also very modest. I got the fan on, mind you. Okay, this is the temperature of uh, the bridge rectifier and the triac, which is also very modest. And everything seems to be running quite happy here at this load. And I guess it's around 600 watts or so. I hope you liked it. And that is the long-awaited video for the SMPS that I built um, with the when showing off uh, how to wind the transformer. Thanks a lot, thanks for watching. Again the input wattage. I still have to work out what power 
are we absorbing at the output and we can work out the efficiency.